Hi, hi, I'm David Gontla. I'm here at the World Innovation Summit for Education in Doha, Qatar, where they've got people from all around the world who come together to have conversations and share ideas about transforming education and learning. So that's all good, full of interesting things. I'm here to talk about play. My kind of main thing about that is that people tend to talk about play uh, in terms of children. You start talking about play, they start talking about children, how can you get more play into schools perhaps, and so on. But what I think is, that's not going to change until you have more of a transformation in the culture of everyone, adults, parents and children, where we embrace play more and we recognise that play is a really, for one thing, powerful tool for sharing ideas, building meanings together, tinkering and playing and prototyping and becoming more creative. Um, all of those things are really great aspects of play and they're good for everybody. So I don't see why we always have to be talking about children. The hope is, of course, that when we've all embraced play in, to some extent, more in everyday lives, then obviously it would be obvious that we would do more of this with children because it's going to be great for their learning, it helps them become better and more resilient learners, it's really good for the future, they might become more innovative, they come up with great ideas, that's good for the economy and it's good for culture. All of that's really good, but I think that everything's part of a system, everything's part of a whole, and if we want what happens to our children to change, then we need to think about our whole organisation around culture. and what our expectations are about how playful people can be, how creative we expect people to be in everyday life and to basically expect more of it. Now, I'm also here because we're announcing the winners of the Reimagine Learning Challenge. This is a competition organized by Ashoka, who support social entrepreneurs, and the Lego Foundation, which is doing interesting things around creative learning and playful learning. Uh, there were 600 entries, more than 600 entries, from all around the world. Uh, we eventually got it down to 10 ultimate champions who are reinventing learning in all kinds of interesting ways. There's Skatistan, based in Afghanistan. They say they come to skateboard, but they stay to learn. In a context where there's 18% female literacy, they've got 40% girls taking part in this where they do skateboarding and learning, sometimes separately and sometimes fused together. Playful, creative learning, and a really good idea, I think. Um, there's also Design for Change, based in India, where they've got design thinking principles boiled down to four steps. So you feel where you empathize with a problem, imagine where you think about different solutions that the community might like, do where you do it, implement it, and then share where you share the ideas with other people, build on other people's ideas, collaborate, make it even better. So you've got feel, imagine, do and share. Really neat four steps like that one. I also really like uh, the Global Cardboard Challenge where kids from all around the world, and adults too, but kids from all around the world, uh, are inspired by the Kane's Arcade video. You might have seen that on YouTube, check it out. Uh, it's a video about how Kane, just a, a boy in Los Angeles, had created this whole massive arcade made of cardboard, just cardboard boxes. He made this massive world of cardboard. And the story of all of that is really inspiring. And this has been used as a kind of platform to inspire all kinds of creative and inventive things that people do with cardboard on a particular day each year. It also has a kind of foundation associated with it now because it's doing really well. And it's really inspiring in terms of a simple idea that anybody can do, gets people being creative and making really nice, really playful. I like that one a lot too. That's just some of the great winners and the great entrants in this in fascinating competition process. So it's been really interesting to see all of that. They're united by this idea of playful, creative learning, which I think is really driving, hopefully, a change in education to get people thinking more creatively, more innovatively, which is what we need as a range of different societies and cultures around the world. It's been really interesting to be here, so many interesting inventive people from all around the world doing creative projects. 